So hey guys, my name is Dan. Welcome back. Today I want to talk about OMI rankings. Where does your portfolio stand against other people? I think you will be surprised. Now I don't put this out in order for it to become a competition saying since I have more OMI, that person is better than, than another person. That's not what this is all about, but it's to kind of develop a sense of, hey, where I stand is actually really, really good. I think you'll be surprised by these rankings put out by Jason Kalan on Twitter. So we will get into that. Definitely check out his Twitter page. Really good information as well. So before we begin, like always, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, hit that notification bell. 50% of the people who watch me do not subscribe to the channel. So I please ask you to subscribe to the channel so you will be up to date on the latest content. Now let's get to it. So this is Jason Kalan's Twitter page. Definitely consider following him if you got some good enjoyment out of this content. Definitely an Omi homie with the red circle there. So let's get into his tweet here. Jason Kalan says, since my update on August 31st, the cost to be in the top 50% went up about 588 Omi, top 25% 6,709 Omi, and the top 1% up 250,000 Omi. So that says to me, that people are generally slowly accumulating. So that's really good. Now let's get into this. So first, let's take a look at the GoChain Explorer here. We have about 64,000 wallets that he is looking at. He is excluding some, I believe, just because there's such small amounts there. But this is interesting here, holding exactly 1 million OMI, 188 people. Previously, it was 184, so that's also growing. Now, you know, people who hold exactly 1 million OMI, there's obviously people who hold a little bit more, there's obviously people who hold a little bit less, but uh, that's a good number to have, I think, and you'll see it kind of reflected in this data as well. So let's kind of get into it. We have the 50th percentile ranking, or the median, right? And there's approximately, you know, 32,000 people who are in that range. And the median amount of OMI to have is a bit surprising here. We have 83,000 OMI. So that's the median amount of OMI. A little bit surprising. I thought it would be a bit higher, but that's why I told you this is a little bit of surprising news. It's definitely reassuring. If you have a decent sized portfolio, you should be excited by your OMI holdings. So, so that would be worth at 375, this is a little bit outdated. The price has gone down a little bit there, but $313 at the all-time high would have been worth 1,000. So this is really good information here. The 25th percentile or 75th percentile, you know, 390,000 OMI. That'd be worth about $1,462. So that's, that's interesting because, you know, you're we're moving up the rankings pretty quickly, but the amount of OMI is still not drastically high. So let's go to the 20th percentile or 80th percentile there. 579,000 OMI worth $2,172. The 15th percentile or 85th percentile, uh, depending on how you look at it, is 1 million OMI. And that's pretty surprising because it really shows us that 1 million OMI is still actually a good amount of OMI to have. And that would be worth $3,750 there. And the all time high about $13,000. 90th percentile, 1.5 million. So starting to move up a little bit, which makes sense. A lot of the OMI holders are concentrated in a small amount of people. So still a lot of whales in the community, but uh, nothing to be too concerned about. There's whales in every single project. And that's worth $5,760 at the 375 level there. So 95th percentile, we're looking at about 3.7 million. So quite a drastic jump. That's worth about $14,000. And I think that an amount like 3.7 million is definitely obtainable for a lot of people. It might take a while, right? You have to dollar cost average. Hopefully you were taking advantage of that months ago when the prices were really low, but 14,000 is not ridiculous, right? It's hard for a lot of people to obtain, but it's not a ridiculous amount. If you said that that cost $500,000, at least for me, I'd be like, well, I, I obviously can't afford that. But 14,000 is something that's pretty reasonable. It's the price of a, of a cheap used car. So 96th percentile, 5 million OMI, $18,000, 3%, 7 million OMI, $26,000 in, in terms of worth. So uh, 2% or 98th percentile, 10 million OMI and anything above 
the 99th percentile, 23 million minimum worth about $87,000. So what this should tell you is that really if you have a million OMI, and I did a video about this a while ago, how you should have 1 million OMI to take advantage of all the value and also minimize the risk associated with the token. I think 1 million is a good amount to have. And if you have that amount of OMI, it's actually not impossible. It's very achievable. And even some of these higher numbers, the 3%, you know, the, the 97 percentile, 7 million OMI, $26,000, these aren't ridiculous either. I'm not saying everyone can, can get those numbers, but it's not ridiculous. So I also want to take a look at this other part of the graph here, and I think this is a little bit interesting because it shows us kind of the whales, right? So this represents, you know, the, the greater than 99th percentile. And 100 million OMI, so people like Randy Chavez is close to that number, I mean, 5 million away, 4 million away, something like that, 195 people. And that's also accumulating. So the people with money are accumulating more OMI. That's really interesting. I think that's the ch chief takeaway is that the whales are accumulating more. I think that's very interesting. The huge whales, the founders, the very early adopters, 1 billion plus, 71 people. And that's been about the same, which that makes sense because 1 billion OMI is, is quite a bit of OMI to accumulate. But this is very interesting stuff. I think it's good to know where you are, not in terms of comparison and saying, you know, you're better than someone else. That's not what this is all about. But just, just to be content that, hey, we're really early, even though it may not sound like it because a lot of the YouTubers talk and, and sometimes they interview these big whales. And sometimes you get the sense that, man, everyone seems to have 90 plus billion o million OMI. Maybe I should have that much. But that's not the case at all. Those are rarities, really. So that is good to know. So guys, where are you in terms of your OMI rankings? Are you where you want to be? If so, then don't worry about where everyone else is at. But if you look at this and realize, hey, maybe I can I can cut back on some expenses and, and increase my bag if I so desire, uh, this is kind of a good encouragement in order to do so. So, you know, we have a lot of things to look forward to in this year in terms of OMI. Definitely by the middle to end of this month, we will start to see things moving. So this... So the news cycle is definitely a little bit quiet, and it's quiet before the storm, before the rush of activity. They're getting everything ready. So kind of keep holding on. Don't worry about what all the people are saying about the negativity, about the FUD. Don't worry about things like that. A lot of times people just say FUD when they don't understand something, so you should take that into consideration. I definitely plan on buying as much OMI I can during this year, and I have been doing this as much as I possibly can, and I don't plan on selling anything at least until the end of the year is up. I might take some profit there or I might continue to accumulate more. It just really depends on how this year ends out. When you look at it, we really only have three and a half some odd months left. We have been in this game and it's been a rough ride for us for the past three or four months but things are looking better and I expect a reversal by the end of the year. I definitely really believe we will see that. So continue doing what you're doing, you know, continue watching content just like this or other OMI YouTubers if that's what you like. Continue learning, continue dollar cost averaging, and we will be richly rewarded when our time comes. So guys and gals, if you do enjoy this type of content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, hit that notification bell. Like I said, 50% of you who watch my videos do not subscribe. Please consider subscribing. It really does support my channel and it allows my videos to reach a wider audience. So hey guys, I will see you in the next one.